Okay, guys, so this is another video on LED bulbs running on an emergency ballast. There's always this confusion among a bunch of contractors and whatnot that I've noticed. Now, the place where I got these, they replaced most of these over with brand new integrated LED fixtures, which I wouldn't be surprised those things fail within the two year mark because they're always day burning. But some of these there was actually white these are actually what used to be black but i think there was a little bit of a contractor screw up and they just painted them white real quick but but some of there were some gray there was gray versions of these for the stairwells and those ones they actually put in sylvania led bulbs in them direct replacements but all pretty much all those bulbs on the stairwell are L they're emergency ballasts. They have these type of ballasts in it with the little red indicator, but I looked up those bulbs and they claim in the spec sheet not to be used with an emergency ballast, and every bulb will say that. So probably find a picture of it on this packaging here and I'll show it on the screen. Okay, so now I took a bulb out of this fixture. These both were working. So I stuck one of those bulbs on this emergency ballast because if you saw that that picture I put in with the disclaimer on the packaging here, it says not to be intended for use with emergency or emer emergency light fixtures. Well, this one classifies as that. And a lot of manufacturers will put it in their spec sheets. Even those Sylvania bulbs they used for those fixtures on the stairwell with emergency ballast in them. So let's see what will happen. Nothing happens. Even this fixture is not lighting up. I don't know if you can hear that. All you get out of this fixture is a high squeal noise. So I'll pop this bulb out. We'll pop in back the CFL so you guys don't say that the fixture's bad because it isn't bad. We'll pop this back in and see how it works with the CFL. That is what happens if you attempt to use one of these on an emergency ballast. You're basically putting a basically putting yourself at a liability risk. Let's say like it's dark. Then you suddenly have a power outage and your emergency fixtures don't work. Kick in. They try to kick in, but they can't because of these LED bulbs. You're basically putting yourself at a liability risk. So that is the effects of trying to shove one of these on an emergency ballast fixture. Because I could there's no videos on this issue. But I've always wondered, and I then I wouldn't be surprised if the same thing applies with the four foot. LED direct replacement tubes. It's a serious issue and this problem should get resolved. Manufacturers should really try to up their game to improve their bulbs so that way it can operate on an emergency ballast because a lot of people just assume and start shoving th these bulbs wherever. A lot of people don't know better when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys found this video educational on this issue.